It has been said that the harvest of a people's future depends on the seeds of our present. What we do today will surely affect tomorrow. These young people are busy shaping their tomorrows with art. They are from a unique creative colony within Los Angeles called St. Elmo Village. The founder of St. Elmo Village is Mr. Rizal Sykes, an artist who, in the tradition of our African forefathers, uses art as a living part of everyday life. Rizal, what is St. Elmo Village? St. Elmo's Village, James, is where we live. St. Elmo's Village is a place of creativity, of people meeting people first. St. Elmo's Village is a seed of inspiration to people to meet as people first, to use their natural ability, to put forth whatever their natural efforts to feed their many hungers. St. Elmo's Village is indeed the heart of where we live. It is the, we hope, the motivation to those millions that live in little old houses. I call them shoeboxes. If it is a shoebox, brighten it up. Mm. It is where you live. This is St. Elmo's Village. What These children are part of St. Elmo. What led you to creating St. Elmo Village? I live there. It was not a plot nor plunder. I live there and I painted where I lived. I am, we are people first, artists second. We meet as people first. Was there a specific thing that led you to, to creating it or to founding it? Yes. What was that? To make brighter where I live. Uh -huh. <laughs> the eagerness of heart to meet another person which is substance to my day. What's, what's been the, uh, the surrounding community reaction to St. Elmo Village? There has been a harvest of awakening. The streets of St. Elmo that used to be drab and brown is now green. It is not the best line, but it is, it is indeed green. There used to be whiskey bottles and beer cans thrown by many of these kids. It is no longer. The houses that used to be colorless now are color. Doesn't matter with what color paint, but it's clean. This has been the uplifting of the street of St. Elmo Drive. I sense a very special connection between you and them. How do you, how do you teach them? First of all, they are my breath, for I am me, and they are around me. How do I teach them? By doing the best that I can for me, and hope that that seed inspire them to do for them first, because in doing for them, they might do for me. And this has been the unity of St. Elmo. You don't worry about supervision, that is the, the old-fashioned type? Sir, uh, I, I cannot teach them. Uh -huh. I cannot teach them I can take away from them. I hopefully can create this atmosphere, we can create this atmosphere, that they get the confidence to express their God-given right, their feeling, and they are expressing it now. How is it financed? Where do you get money for the paints, for the materials? We scratch each month to keep the bulldozers away from our door. We are not subsidized by no one. We have had many congressmen and senators in our village to appall us in our endeavors. But unless we sell a painting, unless a person out yonder care and donate to us, there is no subsidy. And I like to say now that each month the breath of St. Elmo is at a quick and stand because it need. It need paint for them. It need roofs for their head. For when it rain, they cannot paint and then they are turned away. This is the need of St. Elmo and how it is financed. So the, the financial future is, is, uh, is um you need help. You yes. need help. How about the artistic future? What, what, what is the, the focus? Uh -huh. It is the brightness that you see here now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It is, believe me, in the beginning, as I said, that we were throwing rocks at. But now we have 300 of these. And not only 300 of these, we have people that care. 
people that is lifting their head out of that despair, out of that wait till tomorrow, uh -huh. wait till I get this and wait till I move yonder. This is the future of St. Elmo. St. Elmo is in the heart where we are. St. Elmo is use what you have. St. Elmo is the best breath in your life right now. Do it now. Use what you have. Can I talk to please some of the young people? Yeah. Um, hi, what's your name? My name is Joseph Holloway. Joseph Holloway. Uh -huh. What are you making? Uh, what I'm making now, I'm expressing myself of a colorful toilet stool, a commode. Fantastic. Uh, it's going to have f different colors and varieties of flowers coming out of it. Uh, uh, thank you. That's going to be a pretty toilet stool, I can tell you. Uh, hi. What's, what's your name? Dujia Bower. Dujia? Why did you come to St. Elmo Village? <laughs> Help save it. To help save it. Right on. Hi. What's your uh, name? Deborah Robertson. Yeah. Um, what do you what do you do with your paintings when you when you when you finish them? Well, sometimes, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I leave them at the village or then, you know, for other people to see or then again I take them home to show to my mother. You know. Because I wanted to know where I am, you know, and I think that St. Elmo Village is a place to be. I mean, it's no trouble. Everything is nice, and the atmosphere is, I mean, you couldn't ask for nothing better. It's beautiful. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Benny. Benny? Yes. That's fantastic. Thank you. What do you do with your paintings uh, as, as you finish them? I like to frame them and uh, hang them in the studio. We have a workshop where all the kids who want to hang their paintings, and that's what I do with mine. I see. Um, which one of your, your paintings do you like most? The last one. Your last one.
Stand up! 